Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Revive Me and today I'm going to show you how you could use mods in Sonic Mania on Xbox Dev Mode. So for this tutorial, you will need to have Dev Mode. If you do not have Dev Mode set up and activated, you can check down below for a playlist that has everything Dev Mode related content. You'll also need the Sonic Mania decomp installed on Dev Mode. And you can also find the tutorial for that in the playlist as well. All right, so for this tutorial example, I will be using the Ultra Ego Shadow mod, and I'll also have this linked down below. So first thing, once you get your mod, usually they will come in a .zip. I highly recommend just leaving them as a zip file. This will make things easier when we go to upload it into the dev portal. And if your mod isn't in a .zip, I highly recommend compressing it into a zip file first. I right, bet, so once you have your mod and it's in a .zip file, the way we would need to add this is through the dev portal. So for those who actually don't know how to get into the dev portal, I'll put an example right here. And if you already know how to get into the dev portal, please skip this part. Now I'm going to show you the remote access at the bottom. So simply click on remote access settings. And what we're going to do is enable the Xbox dev portal. What this will do is this is where we will install our apps. We would have to do this from the computer or your phone. Make sure to keep a screenshot of this because anytime you want to enter the access portal on your computer, you're going to have to use either one or two links, whichever one works for you. And then at the bottom, there's an authentication where you can set a password and username. Me personally, I just keep this unchecked. It's just a little easier to get onto the page without having to enter your information every time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave our Xbox on this page. I bet. So what we're going to do is switch over to the PC. We're going to enter in one of the links for the access portal. And then there's some settings we're going to change from there. And then you should be good to go. All right. Now that we're on the computer, what we're going to do is enter in one of those links. And yes, please add the HTTPS within it. And then once you enter in the link, you should get a page that says your connection is not private. Attackers might attempt to steal your information. Simply at the bottom, click on advanced and proceed. I bet. So once you get to the dev portal, all you got to do is on the left side, click on file explorer. Go to development files. Click on windows apps. And then now you should see a bunch of folders. If you don't see a bunch of folders, that's fine. It all depends on everything you have installed on dev mode. And if the last thing you installed was the Sonic decomp, an easy way to find it is go to the date created and click on it until you filter to what you have recently installed. I'll also have this down below so it's easier to find it for those who do have a lot of things installed. So then we're gonna click on this. You should see a mods folder at the bottom. Go into this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go to choose file. Look for that Sonic mod that you wanna add. I'm gonna go to the Ultra Ego Shadow. Go to open. Now go to upload. Now the reason we said keep it as a .zip is now it's going to ask you if you would like the zip context to be extracted into this directory. Click on OK. And then just give it time. I bet once this is downloaded into the folder, now what we got to do is edit this modconfig.ini file to enable the mod. The reason for this is at the moment you cannot enable and disable the mod from the app itself. It just doesn't stay and it doesn't make any changes to this INI file. So anytime you go to add a new mod, remember that this is the process you would have to do to enable and disable them. All right, so what we're going to do is right here where it says save, we're going to save this mod config.ini. It might say unverified download blocked. That's fine. Just click on it and go to download unverified file. And then now what we got to do is look for where you downloaded that mod config.ini and right click on it and go to edit in notepad. All right, bet. So once you first open this up with the notepad, you will see the D3, D11 shaders. Completely ignore this. Just leave this as is. And then now what we got to do is simply add our mod name into it. And then all we simply got to do is add the name of our mod into this. So ultra ego shadow equals. Now, anytime you want a mod to be active, it has to have one. And anytime you want to disable it, you change it and put a zero. All right. So since the ego shadow is the one we want to have enabled, I'm going to make sure it's one. And then all you simply got to do is go to file, go to save. And then now what we got to do is simply replace this mod config with the one you just edited. So we're just going to click delete. Okay. Now we're going to go to choose file. Look for that mod config that you just edited and go to open. Now click upload. And then once you upload it, you're pretty much good to go. And now your mod should be active. We're going to head back over to the Xbox, start our game. 
and make sure the changes have saved. All right, bet. So now that we're back on the Xbox, all we're going to do is simply open up the app and we're just going to make sure that our mods are loading in properly. And just like that, our mod is loaded right in. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If this video helped you out, please let me know down below. Hit that like if you enjoy content like this. And make sure to hit that follow for more videos.